What is up my Irish Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is the changes that have come into Modern Warfare with the latest season coming out season 4. So the update for season 4 was a big one with the file size being between 34 to 48 gigabytes depending on what system or platform or console you had xbox was around 44 gigabytes and pc was a bit higher now in the multiplayer when you load up the game the background your character is walking on is now not verdansk it's actually pripyat from call of duty modern warfare the original one now in the mission where you are in pripyat you are left lieutenant price with captain macmillan trying to kill imre zakeev which sadly you do not do now in the battle pass we see captain price as an instant reward which is a legendary price skin named the cop don after that we have a vehicle horn named ride of the valkyries and a season 4 xp boost and our first blueprint named callus with many many more and other interests and stuff in the battle pass but i will not go through them here because it would just take up so so much time now if we start with the multiplayer side of modern warfare we see is a new map for ground war now for people who have played warzone will know this map for its promenade from verdance which is the warzone map it's basically just a long tin map and it's not great i personally i won't be playing it half of the ones that have come into the game i won't be playing the ones in previous seasons i still have not played either and i will not be playing them because they just seem terrible and most of them are ground war and i do not play ground war next we finally have scrapyard which is a 6v6 map from modern warfare 2 and it's it is in Warzone already as a part of the map of Verdansk and I think a lot of people have been asking for this to come back in Modern Warfare for a while now ever since they kind of saw it in the Warzone map of Verdansk. Next we have is Trenches. This is a gunfight map. Now I have not played this map yet but there is an easter egg in this map which I'll actually show you in my next video tomorrow. Probably tomorrow yeah it will definitely be tomorrow now with scrapyard entering call of duty modern warfare as a multiplayer map we actually have it as a 24 hour playlist which is probably up for a while from this then we have up from this we actually have trench mosh pit and up from that then we have warzone rumble and this is available to both the free to play players and players who bought modern warfare and this is basically just 50 versus 50 the score is up to a 400 and you respawn up in the air and you just have to parachute back down and it's all about kills uh, the zone is random in every game so this playlist has no kill streaks and the where the zone is changes every game and this is yet another thing i probably will not be playing if i do it'll just be to see what it's like now moving to weapons we have a few new ones coming in season four now the first one is fennec this is this is basically just the vector from the old cards from modern warfare series and next after this we have is the c or 56 amax this is basically just the galil from the black ops series and this is for the first time we are actually seeing a gun from the black ops series in the modern warfare series which is pretty interesting to in my mind moving to warzone the first thing we have is that if you open bunker 11 you seemingly get a minigun which is just crazy to me and i have not done this yet ground loot has now also got a few new ones added to it for example the ram 7 the mp7 is back and many many more so it's kind of good to have these weapons because they're actually very good weapons and it means that you can kind of put off getting your grau or your mp7 or even your mp5 for a bit until 
maybe later in the game or some i'm not really sure that's just my kind of mind going with this kind of lead another thing is advanced now these are not like fortnite where you have travis scott marshmallow and all those these only affect the gameplay where a bunch of helicopters actually come in and these are actually called supply choppers where shooting them down you actually get three uavs two armor boxes and munition boxes a gas mask grenade launcher and tons of cash now this is the minimum so it's kind of mad to think about that this is actually coming into the game now this is just kind of trying to compress the game and make the game kind of speed up they could have easily just had the map smaller and not as big to make it a bit faster another event to happen is called fire sale so for people who have played zombies they all know about fire sale where it goes like fire sale this is when most of the items in the buy stations are actually 80% off or are even free to purchase. And you can also buy back teammates for free. Now, there's a twist. This only lasts one minute. It actually lasts longer than myself. Now, teams will probably all be running to these buy stations to either pick off people or to get their own loot. And everything like that maybe buy back some of their teammates as well the next event is actually jailbreak now if you are in the gulag or spectating you are actually dropped back into the fight all at once which just sounds absolutely crazy and i can see this this happens once the gulag is fully closed i'm full sure finally we have is contraband contract system if you complete a contract any you of the ones that are in the game now a briefcase will drop from the sky and you must bring it to a helicopter and if you are successful you will get a blueprint which is pretty cool and of course if you kill someone with a briefcase you can bring that briefcase to the helicopter as well for yourself and this weapon blueprint that you get is actually a permanent one it stays and there is only a select few that you can get so it'll be pretty interesting to see what ones they come out with but yeah that is it guys this is the end of the video guys hope you did like it if you did please hit the like button i don't know how many videos i just uploaded today which was just absolutely fucking crazy uh at least three maybe four now and like i said i'll have a video coming out tomorrow of the easter egg for that bunker on the map trench and yeah this is the end of the video guys hope you did like it if you did please hit the like button right beside the like button should be the subscribe button beside that should be the notification bell which you can hit to stay up to date whenever i upload to my channel or whenever i go live on my channel speaking of live streams i live stream weekly on my twitch channel link down in the description below to that where you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever i go live on that channel and i will also be updating my twitter i update that manually whenever i upload a video to my youtube channel or whenever i go live on my youtube channel or on my twitch channel link down in the description below as well and you can hit the follow button there and i will be live streaming at between half eight to ten to eight tonight for sorry ten to nine for the playstation live stream that will be happening and it'll be live on my Twitch. Link down in the description below. And yeah, that's it guys. Hope you like, favorite, and subscribe. And peace.